so see you will be having a question in your mind that why do we actually require nfa if we already know what is a dfa because uh, with every dfa we can make every uh, you know language uh, which is a regular language then why do we actually require an nfa so you can see see there are uh, computers are basically a deterministic machine that means a uh, giving a certain input computer will always your computers will always go to a certain uh, state that means your com computer will not produce more than one different outputs they will be always be producing a uh, specific output that means you can say computers are always you know uh, deterministic machines in the same way dfas are also deterministic machines but nfas are not deterministic machine then why do we actually studying nfas see at some cases it is very difficult to design a dfa because designing a dfa require more you know aptitude skills or you can say it is uh, it sometimes it becomes more complicated by designing a dfa so and designing an nfa is very simple as compared to designing a dfa because in case of nfas we only have to you know uh, take care of few things in case of dfas we have to take care of more than you know more things as compared to a nfa so that is why we it is easy to draw an nfa as compared to a dfa and th uh, that is the only reason why do we why we actually need nfa in case in case of nfas we draw nfas and and we have the power to convert that nfa or we have a specific you know algorithm or steps to convert that nfa to a equivalent dfa that is why we mostly prefer drawing nfa so that we can convert that nfa at later point of time to dfa and it it will be very easy so now let us look at how can you convert an nfa to a dfa let us suppose we take simple simple example let us suppose a very simple example of a language which is ending with a language is uh, w such that or uske or can strings ending with a better way is if i write strings ending with small a strings ending with small a or over a comma b over summation is equal to a comma b over summation is equal to a comma b now you can make an nfa like this this is initial state you can get any number of a's or b's in beginning and as soon as you get one single a you will be at state b and you will accept it this is the nfa for this this is the first language and the second language is language is strings starting with a strings starting with small a so you have you are at initial state a as soon as you get single a you go to state b and you accept it and you accept it so these are two different languages so first of all let us convert this one to a equivalent dfa and then we will con con convert the above one to an equivalent dfa in this case first of all make a transition table so what is the transition table here in this in in this one uh, we are at state a and b we have two states a and b a is initial state and b is a final state and we have two input symbols small a and small b assume these are the input symbols small a and small b in state a if you see a symbol a then you go to the state b in state a if you see a symbol b then you go to the state which is phi in state b if you see a symbol a then you go to the state b in state b if you see a symbol b then you go to the state b itself so this is a transition table for this one now in this transition table the only one thing which is making it as an nfa is this symbol which is phi or you can say an empty set or empty state if in somehow we can eliminate this empty set or empty state by an equivalent state then we can make it a dfa and this empty state is actually representing a dead configuration it is representing a dead configuration dead confi Configuration, dead configuration. Dead configuration means 
then if we uh, if we in state a if we get b then we uh, this uh, that particular transition will be dead so to make it a dfa it's better to remove this dead configuration let us assume we are removing this dead configuration by a dead state which is d so instead of this you can just write a dead state which is d and it is a dead state or you can say trap state therefore we write d d and d here now what is this let us try to draw it if this is state a if you see a symbol a then you go to the state b which is the final state and you can see any number of a's and b if on state a you see a small b then you go to the state d which is a dead state and if you are at d then by seeing both a and b we are always stuck at the dead state which is b so you can see this is representing a dfa this is representing a dfa now if you consider this diagram this diagram is also representing a nfa here you make the table we have a and b as two symbol we have state a and b in case of state a if you see a symbol a as well as if you see a symbol a then you go to you are going to state a as well as you are going to the state b you are going to the state a as well as you are going to the state b in case of a if you see a symbol b then we are going exactly to one state which is a itself now if you see the state b now in case of state b we are going to phi we are going to phi now let us convert this to an equivalent dfa here initial state is a and the final state is b so if the initial state is containing more than one transitions because here uh, it was not containing more than one transitions here it was only one single transition here it was no transition but here the initial state is containing more than one transition on uh, symbol a so it, let us do one thing if this is a state a now if we have more than one transition then combine these two transition to make a single state right here single a and single b these are two different state let us combine them to make a single state so the single state will be a b and if you see a symbol a at a then you are all only going to state which is a now in case of a b in case of a b there is no state here which is representing a b so if you want to make a transition for a b in that case you combine these a and b that means you take a union of these two and you give the transition for example if you take a union of a b and phi then you will get if you take union of a comma b union which is phi a comma b and phi then this is going to give you a comma b comma phi and where phi is representing zero or you can null state so this can this we will write here as single a b because if you take a union of these two then it will be single a b and if you take b and union of these two then you will get single a union of these two you will get symbol a okay see uh, here i am ignoring some mathematical facts because in case of mathematics if you study discrete mathematics in case of discrete mathematics then phi is equal to the empty state but phi is not equal to set which is containing phi phi is not equal to set which is containing phi but phi is equal to the empty set but here in this case you can see this ab uh, if you take a union of these two then i am going to one single state i am just representing the whatever number of states which we are going now i defined a single transition for ab and i defined a single transition for a that means initial state is a here see uh, here the final state was b so wherever you get a b that will be a final state therefore this will be a final state so here i create a state a and i create a state ab and ab is a final state because b was a final state here on state a if you see a symbol a then you are going to ab on state a if you see a symbol b then you are going to a itself on state ab if you see a symbol a then you are going to go to ab itself on state ab if you see a symbol small a then you will go to small b then you will go to the state single a so this is a representing 
a DFA, right? So this was the NFA diagram, and this is representing a DFA diagram. That means we created an equivalent DFA for this given NFA. You can check for any string. Take some random string, see if that string is in this language. Does it does it accept that particular string or does it accept that particular string? So you can uh, convert any NFA to DFA in this fashion. So let us take few more examples and some more complicated examples of uh, NFAs. We will we'll try to convert those NFAs to DFAs. Okay.